this is a question on trigonometry and uh, proving identities and also solving an equation. Now, I just want to go through the question and um, because um, some kids struggle with part A and B and then because they do, they leave out part C. Now, firstly, it says express this thing in terms of a single signs and single causes. Next, it says presumably using what you've done in part A, show that um, 4 cos x squared 2 theta minus cos x squared theta is equal to sec squared theta. And lastly, it says hence or otherwise, forget the otherwise, let's do hence. So that means using part um, B, obviously, look, we've got an exp uh, expression for 4 cos x squared 2 theta minus co cos x squared theta. Um, solve between 0 and pi the following equation. Give your answer in terms of pi. Now, when pupils do this, they find part A and part B tricky because there's cosecs in there, there's squareds, and there's double angles. But then they leave out part C for a reason unbeknown to me. I have no idea why, because you know from part B, they tell you that this is equal to set squared theta. So if you're trying to solve this equation here, what you're trying to solve is sec squared single theta is equal to 4. And that's one of the easiest trigonometric equations you can go about solving. So I'm going to start off on this question by actually doing part C first, because it's easy. So, I'll do part C first and come back to part A and part B. This, by part B, can be written as sec squared theta is equal to 4. Now, sec squared is 1 over cos squared theta. So 1 over cos squared theta is 4, or you could think of it as 4 over 1. So therefore cos squared theta is a quarter. So what's cos theta? Well this is what many students write. They write cos of theta is a half. Um, some students actually square root that incorrectly and write 16. Use the calculator if you're not sure, but you should know that square root of quarter uh, is a half. But they forget that when you take square roots, you always get a positive and negative answer. So cos theta is also negative a half. Now, students forget this. Do not forget this. You cannot forget this, afford to forget. It is giving away easy marks. So now we're going to solve cos theta as a half and cos theta is negative a half. So theta would be the inverse cos of a half with your calculator in radians mode and you would get that theta is pi by 3 and for this one you would get theta is the inverse cos of negative a half and you get yourself theta is 2 pi by 3 you're between 0 and pi are there any other places you could have an answer well just to double check draw out a um, cos graph cos graph looks something like this. You're going between 0 and pi, so between here and here, you've found one answer is pi by 3, the other is 2 pi by 3. There are clearly no other answers. They were the simplest three marks on the paper, and many students just left them out because they struggled with part A and part B. <clears throat> right, let's go back to part A and part B. Express this in terms of sine theta cos theta. Firstly, 4 cos x squared theta means... 4 over sine squared of 2 theta. And cosec squared, single theta, means 1 over sine squared theta. Okay? Now, let's just rewrite this for a second. Let's just rewrite this as 4 over... Well, sine squared 2 theta means you have sine of 2 theta and you square it. And sine squared theta means you have sine theta and you square it. Now the double angle formulae tell us, let's do a bit of side working, that sine of 2 theta is 2 sine of single theta cos of single theta. So instead of sine 2 theta we want it in terms of sine theta and cos theta. This is in terms of sine theta. We just need to make this in terms of sine single theta cos theta, we would replace sine 2 theta by this. So we would have 2 sine theta cos theta. 
squared. Now that would get you the marks for part A. That would easily get you the marks for part A. Everything now is in terms of sine theta and cos theta. There's no double angle formulas in there and there's no cosex or anything like that. It was as simple as that. Now, for the next part, I'm just going to rub out the previous work in, and I'm just going to start with where, where we finished off at for part B. And there isn't much to take this home and get the correct answer for the four marks in part B. So, if we start off there, okay, and we want to now show that this is equal to sex squared theta. Well, let's keep going. If we expand this out on the bottom, we would get 4 sine squared theta cos squared theta, and this one over here is 1 over sine squared theta. Now, there is a 4 multiplying on top and 4 multiplying on bottom. They could cancel. Or you could divide both sides, by divide top and bottom by 4, and you would get the following. 1 over sine squared theta, cos squared theta, subtract 1 over sine squared theta. If you want to subtract fractions, you need to make the denominator the same. So this one needs to be multiplied on top and bottom by cos squared theta. And look what you would get. You would get 1 subtract cos squared over sine squared theta, cos squared theta. Well, what is 1 subtract cos squared? Well, it, it by definition is sine squared theta, and it's sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Now, the sine squares would cancel, and you have 1 over cos squared theta. And you should keep going down the page here. I'm, go I'm losing space, which is sex squared theta. And you have done for your four marks in part B. And that is that question, which was much easier than you may have thought at the time.